at CES 2018, voice assistants were everywhere. Pick up a product, and there was a good chance you could talk to it. But that might put some brands in a bind. They have to choose what voice assistant to work with for their technology. Plus, they don't get to control the experience the customer is having once the conversation starts. Enter Nuance. You might know this company for its dictation software, Dragon Naturally Speaking. But Nuance's bigger business is in helping brands create voice experiences. And they've been busy in the smart home space. In a couple of years' time, you might find yourself talking to your furniture a lot more often. It might start with a smart speaker, and then it will be your TV's remote control. Okay, what would you like to see? Watch Gold Rush. Show me movies about mountain climbing. Soon enough, you'll be controlling your lights and your locks. Not only is it software every bit as smart as Alexa, it can be programmed with your voice. Using Nuance's hardware reference device, Dragon, we can see how a user can create a recipe that includes several devices. Create a recipe. Sounds good. What do you want to call it? Morning routine. Cool. Tell me what you want it to do. When I wake up in the morning, brew me a cup of coffee and turn the heat up in the bathroom. Great. What else? Tell me what my first meeting is. Great. What else? That's it. Also on display here is Nuance's cognitive arbitration feature. That's just a fancy way of saying the dragon can listen to your request and then automatically decide what AI assistant should respond to it. This allows Nuance's customers to build their own branded voice user interface while still supporting the capabilities of other popular assistants. You know, when it comes to TV service, when it comes to maybe a smart security system in the home, the things that our customers do really well for end users, they still want to own that experience. But by owning that experience, they don't want to let users miss out on some of these other services that also add value that they don't do, the things that aren't duplicative with their own services. So that's where we can really create this more holistic experience. At the end of the day, everyone wins. For example, when you want to order a pizza, it could connect you with Dom. That's Domino's Pizza Bot. Think of it like a gateway that can send requests to the right place at the right time. Hello, Dragon. I want to order a pizza. I know it's always pizza time, but when exactly would you like your order to be ready? 7 p.m. I thought you sounded hungry now. What would you like to order? A barbecue meat lover's pizza and a garlic prawn pizza. Okay, I've got a barbecue meat lover's pizza and a garlic prawn pizza. Nuance has been developing speech recognition technology for years, as well as the interpretation of that speech and what the user wants as a result of it. Now that new speech assistants are coming into the market on the consumer level, like Alexa and Google Assistant, Siri, Cortana, Nuance thinks it has a new role to play as an arbiter between those different systems. And that system is going to be embedded into all sorts of different products, like cars. Nuance has been working with top-tier automakers, such as BMW, for years. Its drag and drive service can act as an in-car voice assistant for drivers. And thanks to the cognitive arbitration feature, automakers don't have to decide if the driver can talk to Alexa or Google Assistant. Instead, they can talk to multiple assistants at the same time. So who knows, maybe one day you'll be driving home and you'll have a hankering for pizza. You'll just ask your car to have it delivered to your house, and Dom, the pizza order bot, will make sure it's done. Now that's the future I'm talking about. Thanks for watching All Hands on Tech. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on voice technology coming soon. I'm Brian Jackson.